Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're here at uh, Arch Dragon Peak still, right underneath the Great Belfry. And, uh, well, the weather changed dramatically. I have both the uh, stones. Well, I never actually read that, I think. Uh, we got the Twinkling Headstone. Gain the head of a dragon and emit breath alongside an Arch Dragon Mirage. The transformation is irreversible. The illusion achieved was the first case of a human imitating the form of an ancient dragon. And it revealed the smallness of human existence. The road to the old dragons is long and arduous. And only one can complete the journey. And I think we're about to complete that journey, if I'm not mistaken. So let's head through. If I can. God damn it. There it is. Um, okay. Hi. Oh. God. Are you gonna get off that dragon? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm hitting something, but I'm not hitting anything. What is going on? Holy shit balls! Really hard to dodge. Okay. Well, um, I don't think a shield will do much in this case. So maybe I'm just better off two-handing this bitch. Sorry, I don't mean to be uh, offensive. I'm just a bit scared of this guy. He's riding a fucking dragon. Well, wyvern probably. There he is again. Where the hell? Can I even walk over there? I don't like him looking at me like that. Yeah. That's not doing anything, is it? Hitting it. Oh, ow.
finally took down to the face. face but that's not all of it probably because now that I killed its thingy wyvern I'm probably gonna have to face this guy oh shit this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt Ooh, shit balls what's he gonna do well that's great Is, is the dragon gonna stay dead right now? Holy shit. Um, can I go home? Whoa! So he has his own health bar. Yep. Okay, okay. I wonder if I'm gonna have to kill the wyvern again now. I guess we'll see in a second. Put that away. Ooh. Yeah, fuck. Never mind. For this thousand souls, I don't know. Okay. Um, with or without wyvern. Yep, didn't expect it to. God damn it! This is gonna be tough. Get this if I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay.
Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Die. Die, yes! Motherfucker down! Woo! Okay. Finally, the Nameless King defeated and now what now what's gonna happen so as you can see I switched armor sets a few times um, to try and beat him because that actually took me well around three hours to beat okay now what amazing boss fight by the way that was incredible but extremely difficult since you had to defeat two bosses in a row 
And the Nameless King himself was a bit of a bitch. Is everything back to normal now, or... Is it completely destroyed? Oh, look at that. Well, that's nice. Whew. The adrenaline is a bit pumping. Amber restored. Whew. I meant the adrenaline is uh, still pumping, I mean. <sighs> okay, that was amazing. That was incredible. And apparently this is one of the hardest bosses that Dark Souls have, has to offer, so... Uh, I did it! I did it! I want to leave a message. I did it. Let there be critical foe. Yes, indeed. So, I'm gonna check out the soul. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was a big one. Here we go. Soul of the Nameless King. Uh, the Nameless King was once a dragon-slaying god of war before he sacrificed everything to ally himself with the ancient dragons. Okay. So a dragon slaying god of war. So he was a god, so we can maybe assume that he was a descendant of Gwyn? Could even be his son then. But a son that took allegiance with the ancient dragons, that would not have been uh, great for uh, Gwyn himself. Titanite Slab, another one. Rubbish. No, it's not. It's not rubbish. So now we're at this upper area that we couldn't reach, so kind of explains why we couldn't reach it before. Uh, can we go around? Yeah. I'm gonna check out every nook and cranny right now. Every single nook and cranny. Okay. I don't think that's the other side of the wall I tried to break before. Yeah, there's that ladder. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything here. But I am really curious what's inside this... Well, it's the Dragonkin Mausoleum, is it not? This is the same building where we got warped towards. Let there be pointers, okay. I shall uh, believe you on your word. This is gonna be fun, I'm gonna have to edit three hours of footage into one episode. But hey, everything for you guys. Dragon Slayer armor. What? Yeah, by the way, I need to re-equip everything. But that's... Cool. Let's see, I was wearing that, including the uh, wolf armor, the wolf knight armor. There we go, and then the dancer's gauntlets, I kept that. I was looking for a set that would keep my, uh, my lightning resistance pretty high, because I had, a, well, more than a bit of trouble beating that thing. But we did it, we did it. Golden Lion Helm associated with Dragon Slayer Ornstein, which might actually reinforce the fact that this nameless king, the king of the storm, I don't know what I should call him, was actually a descendant of Gwyn and he trained Ornstein. From the age of gods and imbued, and imbued with the strength of lightning. In the dragonless age, this knight who long guarded the ruined cathedral left the land in search of the nameless king. And Ornstein then died here, probably. I wanna wear that. Look at that. That's creepy and cool at the same time. But I'm, I like my blue uh, sharp. So the Wolf Knight armor. Where's Ornstein's armor? Uh, well, fuck yeah. I'm just below 70. This, so uh, I'm gonna keep that. Well, look at that. Now I'm, now I'm rocking it. I am where I want to be. Ornstein's armor. I was kind of looking for it already. Because it's, well, it's an iconic piece of armor. And, uh... Is there something here? Because... I'm running around, but I'm not really finding anything, am I? I can get up here, so in between here then. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I think we found everything There's has to be found here. And uh, we're gonna enter that place. I'm not gonna end the episode yet. Even though we've been through a lot. Maybe I might want to equip a Ring of Sacrifice though. Let's put the Ring of Favor back on. You know what? I'm gonna... Because I unequipped Havel's Ring. Um, to get the Thunder Plates. The Thunderstone Plate Ring for more Thunder Defense and the Steel protection, ring of steel protection to defend me from that. 
I actually never read that. R Ring of the Night King of Ancient Legend increases physical damage absorption. The Night King was said to be lined with steel on the inside, such that even the tal talons of mighty dragons did him little harm. Um, and I wanted to equip a Ring of Sacrifice. There we go. Just in case we lose all uh, all of those 80,000 souls, but... Oh! We're just back here. Well, that, that, that's actually kind of sad. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So that's pretty much it for uh, this place then, I suppose. For Arch Dragon Peak, I'm going to head back to Firelink Shrine. Spend my souls, and that will be one hell of an episode, I believe. Whew! I'm actually really, really glad that I uh, managed to beat him. I'm going to unequip that Ring of Sacrifice then. Um, maybe I should not wear Havel's Ring then if I... No, wait, 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 because I unequipped my shield as well. So let's put that back in with the Dragon Crest shield. And now we're at 68, so that's perfect. Okay, so back to Firelink Shrine and hopefully fix all that. So I kind of used eventually in the boss fight, maybe I should talk a bit about that. Uh, the dragon hit the first stage, once you get it, it's uh, methods down, it's pretty easy to beat. A few hits to the head will uh, make it crumble down and you can stab it for a critical attack. So the dragon is not really a problem. I tried to keep my, keep my distance from the Nameless King and if it, uh, if it was just walking towards me I pelted him with soul arrows because he has a pretty substantial health bar. So I could keep that down even though it didn't do all that much damage. I went for the Great Soul Arrow, but I bought that in the meantime because uh, it's a bit faster to cast and still does a bit of damage. Magic Weapon did his its job as well uh, if you find a place to cast it because, uh, well, the Nameless King doesn't really give you much options. And uh, besides that, it's just a matter of uh, trying to learn his attacks and uh, dodge through them because... Uh, He's actually doable in the end, but uh, it's tough because you need to defeat the dragon before you can kill him. But hey, Finding Shrine it is, because I need a little break, and I think my character needs one too. Okay, so still sad music. Um, I'm first going to check out Ludlet's inventory, see what the... Maybe I can actually use that weapon that the Nameless King was using. Or Gwyn's Firstborn, I don't know. Uh, begin Transposition. What do we have? We have this Lightning Storm. Call forth furious bolts of lightning. Miracle of the Nameless King, ally to the ancient dragons. Once a slayer of dragons, the former king and war god tamed a storm drake on which he led a lifetime of battle. This miracle is likely a tale of their, of their bond. And then the sword probably somewhere, or not. Storm Curved Sword. Curved Sword imbued with the strength of the Storm Drake. The nameless king, ally of the ancient dragons, fought beside the Storm Drake in countless battles. When the great beast fell, the king claimed his soul, and was the custom, as was the custom in the age of the gods. So that's what we saw in the cutscene between the dragon fight and the Nameless King fight. That he absorbed its soul and uh, gained a lot of lightning damage in the process. Tornado, imbue blade with a wrath of storm in a spinning motion and follow with a strong attack to bear that wrath upon foes. Is that everything? Because I really would like that... Oh, there we have it. Dragon Slayer Sword Spear, a dragon hunting weapon from the Age of the Golds, the earliest forms of the cross spear, serving as both sword and spear. Its owner was the Nameless King and Daphic, and Daphic Hunter of Dragons. Wow, that was for some reason hard to read. The sword spear is imbued with lightning, of which he was the heir. That's a hint, isn't it? Because he was the heir of lightning and the, well, the only... The most important gold we've seen using lightning was Gwyn. So, uh... That's another indication, I presume. Falling Bolt. Hold Sword Spear high in the air to summon fierce lightning that descends upon distant foes. I can actually use this. But I don't think... Oh no, I lack the faith. So that's sad, but... Um, 
I'm guessing I'll go for the storm blade then, the storm curved sword. Because it looks pretty cool actually. So thank you little it for that one. Do I still have... Oh yeah, I didn't use any of those other souls. Maybe... I could use a great shield. Um, let's go with the Dragon Slayer Great Shield and then I'll take Yorm's Great Machete as well. And High Lord Wolnir, I never used that as well. Let's purchase a few of these because I can use them to uh, upgrade my spells. Well, my catalog of spells since I'm uh, further upgrading my attunement. Chaos Bed Vestiges, let's buy that as well. And then we have the Soul of a Demon left. I'll go for the Fists and then the Machete for Yorm. There we go. I think I spend all my souls now. The eyes show a world so we've read that, okay. Took the Thank you, Ludlet. So now we have 70,000 souls to spend. And I'm gonna well, do that enough. right here. Very well, then take no uh, I can do one level, I can't do two, but that gives me one extra attunement slot, which is nice. Because magic really helped me out in the battle. And I'm gonna use a few souls to, uh, let's see what this gives me. Probably 10,000, oh, 16,000, okay. So let's level up. I do want to upgrade one type of weapon as well, um, just to see, maybe upgrade intelligence first, just to have a bit of variation. Uh, let's see what we should select for that. Um, I've been wondering about these uh, dual rapiers, I'm looking... We found those in front of the archives, which is probably what we'll head towards next. Gotar's Twin Swords. Although, of course, maybe I should do that. Uh, someone in the comments mentioned uh, that we could use the Chaos Blade, that the damage the Chaos Blade gives you is pretty minimal. So we might as well go with that as an experiment. So let's see. Andre, my man. Let's reinforce the Chaos Blade. I think I'm gonna probably not gonna have enough souls to do everything. Uh, Chaos Blade, Twinkling Titanite. Well, we have a lot of that, so upgrade, upgrade, and upgrade. Ooh, I can upgrade it once more with a Titanite Slab. But I only have one of those left, of course. Um, I'll wait and see how it fares in the field, because uh, it has an S scaling for dexterity, Don't which is something my uh, <laughs> my Uchi Katana does not have. So let's do a quick comparison. So I think the damage is pretty much the same. Because the strength scaling is a bit less. But the bleeding effect is higher. I think my, I might be able to infuse this thing as well. Look at that. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of red. But hey, uh, um, it's good. What neat. Can you infuse that thing for me or not? No, it doesn't look like it. I can infuse the twin swords, it might, which might be a good idea to put fire on that. Or even lightning. Lightning twin swords, that sounds cool. Pretty hmm. big, I don't <laughs> I want to have a lot of options uh, towards New Game Plus if I have a few standard options. Uh, so let's use two of these. I think that gives me 20,000. Yeah. Okay, so now I have uh, some room for me. experimentation. So let's um, infuse those Gotthard Twin Swords with. I have Chaos as well, which gives me. Blast, what does Blast do? Just Fate Scaling? Yeah, indeed. Lightning, which gives me Fate Scaling as well, which I don't really have. So might as well do 
chaos for the twin swords to stack up that uh, fire damage. Chaos got our twin swords, yes. And then let's reinforce these as well. Seem to have enough. Ooh, I'm gonna have... I'm short five Titanite chunks. But I do have pretty... a lot of damage already. So let's see... I think I can buy chunks from her now, since I still have... 10,000 souls. How much is a chunk? Ooh, 13,000 per chunk. I might as well uh, farm that then. One. And maybe I can find a weapon to imbue uh, with lightning one. then? Or don't I have anything interesting left? Hmm. I have Ricard's Rapier, but that's just a waste of that, I presume. Um, I'll probably do that later on then. Um, because we have a few nice options. But we might find more weapons in the archives, which we'll do next. So, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, because uh, it has been a lot of work. But we managed to kill the King of the Storm, the Nameless King. So if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!